Let's go, champ. What is going on with the YouTube fight fans all over the world? It's your boy, the realest of the real. Yes, sir, I said it. Real talk boxing. It is a privilege and honor and a major blessing to be back with you beautiful people yet again. Um, before I get started with this video, uh, I'm going for my third and last procedure. Um, today at the back specialist, I am getting a radio frequency burn, a radio frequency, frequency burn. There we go. Uh, to deaden uh, my nerve so that I won't have to worry about this pain for a long, long time. I haven't been in any any horrible pain in about a month and a half, almost two months since I've been getting my injections, and it's a night and day difference. I can sleep. I can sit down. Uh, I'm working out more, but things are different now, so I have to work out differently. There's a lot of things that I can and cannot do anymore working out-wise, and I have to be very, very careful. Age brings about a change, which is a key factor in this video I'm about to talk about now. But if we are, if we have some praying people out there, you believe in what I believe, pray for me, y'all. I'm a little nervous, <laughs> but it's an outpatient, and I'll be out and, and ready to go uh, real soon. Um, and if you don't believe in what I believe and you don't pray, send me some positive energy, one or the other. Um, but here's what I want to say. I just got done watching the Rayoto Murata, I believe, versus Triple G. And I, this fight was going to be a telltale for me how Triple G would um, fare against a trilogy match against Canelo Alvarez, which it looks like is going to happen. I stated before how disgusted I was with the third match and how I did not want to see it. But judging by his performance, I, I think it's going to be a lot more competitive than what I was thinking in the past. Now, I do still believe that Canelo is going to win that fight, um, but it's going to be competitive. Uh, here's some things that I noticed. First of all, this uh, this uh, Ryoto Murata, I never heard of him, but he's a tough character. He has, I think he has more than two, two balls, man. Maybe he has five or six, this dude. Took some hellacious shots from Triple G and just ate them, and bagged Triple up, Triple G up a lot in that fight. So kudos to that guy. Uh, uh, as far as Triple G, I've always liked him. He's he's a very respectable man. He always respects and uh, you know his opponents. He doesn't trash talk. Um, heck of a puncher. Uh, but there were some things that I saw that were a little different. You know, the older you get, he's forty years old, and that's not real old, but. For boxing, he's he's a grandfather in boxing at 40. The older you get, the first thing that goes is your legs. And I noticed that in this fight. Uh, he didn't do a whole lot of shuffle steps, a lot of skipping back, a lot of lateral movement. He walked around that wing ring for the most part. But what was surprising to me as the fight went on, the stronger and more mobile he became. Um, Triple G used to get guys out of there with one shot. He hit He hit his opponent with multiple big shots. And he didn't fold until the ninth round. Um, Triple G had to break this guy down. It's basically what he had to do. And as far as Triple G's power, I don't think it's completely there like it used to be. I could be wrong. Um, his defense, horrible. He got hit at will. Um, Murata was, if I'm pronouncing his name right, probably not, uh, was was hitting him with a lot of shots at will at times. Just no head movement. His His... Triple G's defense consists of this and a little of this. And that was it. That was really no movement of the head. It was just, you know, bringing the hands up and blocking, sometimes bringing the elbows down to block the body shots. And that's the key to breaking down uh, Triple G if you didn't know. So um, when he fights Canelo again, Canelo needs to go to the body very soon, right away. Um, the guy has a hard head. Like, I, even in this third fight with Canelo, I don't think Canelo's going to knock him out. I really don't. There may be a possibility for too much accumulated punishment. Maybe the ref stopping it, and that's still stretching it. Cause you know Triple G just eats punches, and you would think after you know this long career that he has, 
he would have a lot of wear and tear from getting hit a lot. Uh, but, you know, what what impressed me the most with this fight um, with Triple G is his selection of punches during combination. He has a, such a unique selection of punches when he's throwing combinations on the inside. And he will he will punch you behind your guard in a minute, man. He will get behind your guard. Boom, man. Knock your mouthpiece smooth out. Um, and he has this weird overhand punch. Typically, you don't throw an overhand to a... Uh, I put too much deodorant on today, boy. Yeah, never, never could have too much. When you throw an overhand, he be hitting dudes right on top of the head, man. That's the last spot on a person's... Head that you want to hit. You can mess around. Break your knuckles. Hands. Break your wrists. But I guess the dude got hands of stone. <laughs> Los monos de piedra. Um, but I was impressed, actually, with, with this this last fight. You know, Triple G had against Morado. Morada? Whatever his name is. Y'all know who I'm talking about. But now my opinion has changed about a third fight against Canelo. Now... If Canelo goes in and boxes just a little bit and stay very, very aggressive to the body and break Triple G down before he can get, because Triple G, he, it takes a while for his motor to get going. He don't get really started till five, six, seventh round. And if Canelo can use those early rounds before Triple G gets started, breaking his body down, there, there won't be a, a whole lot of Triple G getting started, if you understand what I'm saying. Go straight to the body, Canelo. From round one and stay there. Consistently stay there. And then the second half where Triple G is known to come up in the fight and get stronger in the fight and get more active in the fight, it won't be there. Won't be no gas in the tank. Won't be no gas in the tank whatsoever. And use lateral movement because the old man's legs, they ain't there no more. And as far as stepping and moving and lateral movement, he is slow as molasses. Uh, he's not that fast of a puncher, but the selection of his combinations makes up for that because they're just so well placed and he throws them simultaneously one after another. So you don't have time to catch a shot and then slip the other one. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. It ain't, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You know what I'm saying? It's a different pattern of motion. But my mind has changed about the third fight against Triple G and Canelo Alvarez. I think Triple G still has a little bit left in the tank and he's still dangerous, but Canelo, I still believe is going to win this fight. If it goes 12, Triple G ain't getting, he, Triple G's not getting a decision anyway, but I don't think that there will be a, a controversial 12 round decision. I think Canelo Alvarez is going to, you know, step out in the wide margin in points. And I, th I think he'll, he'll beat Triple G and somewhat of a, um, drastic measure. I don't think it's going to be close at all. Uh, but it will be competitive, nevertheless. But Canelo needs to stay on his A game because uh, the old man still has a little bit in the tank. That's just my opinion on it. What's yours? Comment down below. Let your boy Real Talk know. As always, respect all. Fear none. God bless. The next time Real Talk boxing, I'm up and I'm out of here, baby. Click, click. Bye, y'all.